That was really interesting. Are you processing it right now? It's a great day to play, everybody. Welcome on into the channel. Yeah. Whether it's your first time here or you are rejoining us, thank you for being here with us today. You are loved, appreciated, always welcome here on this channel, and you are enough. Why do you always say it with it's, a question mark? Oh, that's just they the way I talk. No, you it do not. just the way I no, talk. No, uh -huh. I talk to you all day long. Uh -huh. You tell these people that they are enough, and you be sure when you say it. They need to know <clears throat> when you say that they are <clears throat> enough that you mean <clears throat> it. None of this <clears throat> question mark bull hockey. Okay. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> We're waiting. You are. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> You're just staring at me. Yeah, I am. You are enough. Thank you. Was that that hard? Not to you, to them. Uh, I, that's fine. <laughs> fine. You're fired, but fine. <laughs> no. Like, was it that hard to no. let them know? No. It's just, I don't know why I say it like that. Huh. <clears throat> it's just a Brad thing. Today, <laughs> we're going to be doing another first. This is B-G-Y-O with Magnet. With mm -hmm. Magnet, and uh, I don't know what to expect. This is a brand new group for us, but I'm super excited. So make sure you leave your comments down below, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow along with our journey, check out our live streams Saturdays, noon Central Time, and uh, check out our music on Spotify, Apple, and Amazon. Mm -hmm. but without further ado, let's go. Bum, bada, bum. Oh. Okay, there's a lot of like weird sound design that's going up in the high end or that's happening in the high end. It's really weird. It's really strange. I haven't heard much like that before. It's so they're using a lot of like we've talked about a lot of like 80 sounds. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of 80 synths. Boom, da, 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 that whole thing is like straight, straight out of the 80s. But, um, but like high end stuff. What we've so what Luke and I noticed in a song that we did, I can't remember if it was last night. I think it was. I think it was actually in Boomerang. Okay. That it was like they EQ'd almost everything in early parts of the song to take out a lot of the low end. Okay. Like, and it was almost like, so it felt like like the low end was just missing, but it came in later, oh. right? Like it's almost like, it's almost like because there's so much going on in the beginning and you still need to be able to build off of it, but you want to keep a lot, then you have to pull something out. And so they took that out. Um, mm. It's the same thing as like when, when Lucas and I do like vocal layering, a lot of times like he'll take out some of that so he can fit in better like with my voice and stuff depending on where we want it to be yeah and it it almost seems like they do that sometimes like some of these groups have just chosen to take some of the low end out so it wouldn't surprise me if they came in later but man is this ooh, feels like it's going to get spicy <laughs> i feel like it's going to get spicy <laughs> oh okay funky guitar back there solid mm -hmm. first pre-chorus one pre-chorus two whereas i have it like this is this is this is like one of the things that i actually really enjoy about some of the k-pop songs is just like it it the sh song shifts so the old rule of thumb is like if like the hook didn't come within like the first like 15 or 20 seconds like it wasn't able to keep people interested okay so like part of it is it keeps the listener engaged because every fit like we're a minute in mm -hmm. right you had 10, 5, 10 seconds of intro. And then every 15 to 20 seconds, something it gives happens. you something yeah. new, right? And it's just really, really cool and really well done. Love a double pre-chorus. Oh, did you hear that little mm -hmm. like... Oh, I like that. Wow. 
That was really interesting. Are you processing it right now? It was like all dissonant. Like it was like all off mm -hmm. purposely. It's actually harder to do when you think when you have like seven vocals in there or like however many vocal layers that they're putting in there where like everything is like purposely feels wrong. <sighs> okay. It definitely adds tension. It was really, really cool, mm -hmm. but it definitely adds tension to it for whatever build is coming next. All right, I want to go back to that one more time. <laughs> one, one more time. It's just like, I've never That's heard something like this before. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Feels like it goes down. It does. It? it is that the hook? I think it. I think so because I think that's the hook. That's like in the spot where the hook should be. It's just. I just. I. I. It's weird. I don't know how to explain it. So it's really, really cool. It's a risky move mm -hmm. because so so the point of. A hook is to hook you in, right? Like that's why it's it's the chorus. But like the reason for a hook is it's a thing that makes listeners remember, which it, nobody's gonna forget it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But a lot of times it's a thing that we can sing along with, and this makes it a little bit more difficult for the average person yeah, to, to sing along with. So it's a very yeah. very interesting choice. What I think fascinates me the most about this is I know that somebody in chat said that they did this live on the Wish Bus. How? And I, I sit there and I think about guys. If you're a trained musician, it is one thing to do harmonies well mm -hmm. when you know that the notes are right but to do harmonies wrong well <laughs> like okay. I, i'm trying okay. to think of like the best way to, say, to yeah. do harmonies wrong well yes is takes a lot of practice and a lot of trying to li not listen to the net because like if you're a musician you're gonna listen to the guy next to you and you're like this doesn't sound right mm -hmm. right like this doesn't sound right and it makes me think um I almost did, I, I worked on it for a while, but I ran out of time and so I ended up dropping out. But mm -hmm. um, I was working in a production of Sweeney Todd. Okay. Have you seen Sweeney Todd? I think so, actually. So Sweeney Todd has a lot, like almost the entire production has dissonant chords, has like just harmonies that sound wrong. And it's supposed to because the whole thing is supposed to create tension. Like the whole thing is tension, right? Your main character is killing people. So it's like, yeah. you know, it, 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 it's it's very, very much, it's very, very much uh, meant to be there, but it was some of the hard, like I remember as we were practicing it, like all the people there were obviously singers and musicians, like people that did this. Mm -hmm. And like during normal plays, during like normal shows and things like that when we would practice, it would be pretty quick that you'd pick it up because we were all pretty used to it. Yeah, it's a lot different though when you can't trust what you're reading. Because like even like when you're sight reading music or whatever, like when it sounds wrong but it's right, like it's like you you almost don't want to trust yourself that it is right, but it is. Mm -hmm. And like it, I just remember it took it took way longer to learn some of those songs than it had taken in other productions that I was in. Um, yeah, and just very 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 cool. Like wow, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm down. Like that. It's it's just such a risky move. Mm -hmm. Like, but it's so cool. Your love is my main man. 
Walang wakas, walang katapos ang panghapang buhay na hindi mm. makakalas ang puso para sa isa't isa. Ano man ang dahilan, di na dapat pang magduda pa. Para sa nang pag-ibig, di na kaya pang labanan yan. Patong balanit ka, bigabigani, patuloy nang naalig sa pag-ibig mong hapin. Put your supply and climb, I said you're my brother die. Pilip di man nilang hapin, hindi magbawagin. Kaya ka maghiwan. Ganz so cool. And the production value of that, man. Yeah. Oof. Just, We've been on a roll today. I'm so confused with that song. It's so cool. I've never it's heard a, anything like it. It's that. a risk. Yeah. It's, and again, though, this is where we talk that, that when you are the underdog, mm -hmm. you ain't got any place to go back it up, right? Yeah. And I always say this, I, I always say this to people because it's um people that come in that want to make traditional hit music. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you know, whether it be rappers or pop artists or kind of like whoever it is, like, like people that come in and they're like, hey, like this is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. People don't realize there's a reason that it's a hit mu hit music, right? Like because it's played all over the radio and it's what you're hearing. Mm -hmm. The difficulty is, is breaking into that is one of the hardest things to do. Yeah. Right. And what a lot of people don't realize is it takes a long time. Like it's, it is luck. If you just make a song today and all of a sudden it takes off on TikTok or it takes off on YouTube, it is luck. Mm -hmm. There are millions upon millions upon millions of talented people out there that are doing the same exact thing that aren't getting anywhere with it because they're making something that sounds exactly like what everybody else can hear. And why would they listen to it from you when they can hear it from the artists that are already out there that have millions of dollars in budgets, right? Yeah. So I always tell people like, yes, you want to be in the now, but you want to be ahead of the now mm -hmm. because the likelihood is your song that you make today may not take off for three, four, five years, yeah. right? Like when you finally start getting established, so you have to be ahead of the curve. You do have to experiment as a new artist a bit because when your song finally hits, people have to recognize it as something new and unique, but something that fits with the times that are then, not with the times that are now. Yeah. Does, that, does that make sense? That makes sense. Like, And I think that people forget a lot of the hit songs you hear on the radio now, these artists wrote three, four years ago. Yeah. Right. And it's part of their plan that like it came out now. Well, how did they know that it was going to be the meta now? Because they were forward thinking. And when you hear stuff like this, it's almost like you wonder if you won't hear more then. Mm -hmm. Because it's people that take the risks on something that sounds really, really good when you don't have anything to lose that then end up having the biggest wins because they took the risk. If that makes sense. Yeah. You know, and I, I think that that might be something here. But very very cool i i definitely uh definitely enjoyed this one i hope that you guys did too please if you haven't already uh leave your comments down below we do love to read them like subscribe hit the notification bell follow along with our journey check out our live stream saturdays noon central time and our pop-ups during the week you can check out our music on spotify apple and amazon we do have our new sb19 cover coming out soon and our single coming out soon which will be the uh main title track for our ep mm -hmm. and uh if nobody told you that they love you today don't forget that we love you you're appreciated always welcome here in this channel and you are enough and last but certainly not least, it was a great day to play. Thanks, guys. We will see you in the next video. Bye.